10 Incredible Archaeological Finds Scientists and archaeologists are making new, incredible discoveries all the time about the history of Earth's civilizations. Here are some of the most important, and the most bizarre, findings. Number 10. Roman Dodecahedra These sculptures date to around 100 to 200 AD, and there have been more than 100 of them found in many different countries in Europe, including Germany, France, Austria, and Hungary. They are often found with valuable treasures like coins and jewelry, which suggests that the Dodecahedra were once a treasure in themselves. Their discovery, however, has stumped historians and archaeologists because they cannot answer the most obvious question. What exactly are they? They're crafted with great care. Twelve equal-sized hexagons fit together to create the shape which is then adorned with knobs at each corner and different sized holes on each side. The dodecahedra come in many different sizes, which seems to debunk the theory that they were part of any standard measuring system. Many theories have been proposed about their use. Some say they are a religious relic. Others say they may have been dice or a child's game. The truth is, no one knows what they are, but at least one is often found at Roman archaeological sites. Number 9. The Antikythera Mechanism This artifact doesn't look like much now. It's been corroded by thousands of years at sea, and now appears rusted green and gray. However, at the time it was created, it would have been a glistening bronze set inside a wooden box. This is the Antikythera Mechanism, and it dates back to around the year 70 BC. The mechanism is crafted of many different moving gears, inscribed faces like those of a clock, and handles to wind the dials. When it was originally recovered from a shipwreck 150 feet beneath the surface off the coast of Greece's Antikythera, Thera Island, the device was ignored for nearly 50 years by archaeologists who believed the other artifacts from the ship to be more important. It wasn't until Derek de Sola Price recognized its significance that it began to be studied. The mechanism is believed to have tracked the movements of the moon, visible planets, seasons, eclipses, and was accurate to within one degree every 500 years. The mechanism is so sophisticated that it was actually 1500 years ahead of its time. That is, similar calendrical systems wouldn't be created until the year 1500 that could track lunar positions, phases, and planetary motion. This mechanism is so advanced that it has been referred to as the first analog computer. Number 8. The Dead Sea Scrolls Like many of the artifacts on this list, the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls was a complete accident. A shepherd walking past the caves in which these were found absentmindedly tossed a rock into one of the caves, expecting to hear it echo. Instead, he heard pottery breaking and went to investigate. There he found the first of the Dead Sea Scrolls, but did not know the significance then of the ancient texts. He sparked an immense archaeological archaeological search, which revealed 972 scrolls found in 11 different locations. The scrolls are written in three languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. The scrolls are 2,000 years old, making them the oldest existing copies of the books included in the Old Testament. Perhaps most interesting about these manuscripts is the similarities they share with manuscripts written much, much later, around the 9th or 10th century BC. The text is almost identical, showing incredible care in preserving the literature found in the Dead Sea Scrolls and the accuracy of copies of the Old Old Testament. Number 7. Voynich Manuscript This manuscript was originally written sometime between 1400 and 1440, and has become one of the great unsolved mysteries of medieval history. The manuscript contains around 240 pages currently, but once held many more, which have been lost to time. The authorship of the manuscript is widely contested, but when the manuscript was purchased by Rudolf II, a Holy Roman Emperor in the late 1500s, he believed it had been written by Friar Roger Bacon. Manuscripts from the medieval era are studied all the time, so what makes the Voynich manuscript so special? Well, it's because even after hundreds of years of careful study, no one has any idea what it is or what it says. The pages are filled with drawings that make no sense to modern historians. These include plants that don't exist, zodiac symbols supposedly, and naked women connected by tubing and recipes using all those plants that don't exist and never did. And the writing? It's an unknown language or a code that cannot be broken, despite thousands of attempts by amateurs and professionals. Number 6. Terracotta Warriors In 1974, in the Shanxi province, a group of men were attempting to dig a well. They didn't find water, but they did unearth one of the most incredible archaeological finds in China and maybe the world. They had found the chambers surrounding the tomb of Qi Shi Huangdi, the first emperor of imperial China. There were a total of four chambers, which included a total of over 8,000 soldiers made from clay. The soldiers had apparently been carved by hand, and each soldier stood at attention, sorted by rank, each equipped with their own weapons, unique facial features, and expressions. 
conditions. Some of these soldiers can be seen riding chariots or going on horseback, while most are on foot. The soldiers were once brightly painted, but time and oxidation have worn away the color, leaving them in their natural clay state. The warriors are believed to have been built to protect the emperor in the afterlife. The warriors are only built around the tomb of the emperor, which has never been excavated. They claim the tomb is a large replica of the city, including mountains made of bronze, skies filled with pearls for stars, and rivers that ran with mercury. Archaeologists do not want to expose themselves to toxic metals, but they also do not have the technology to explore the tomb without disrupting the inside climate, which would cause the deterioration of treasures inside the tomb. Number 5. The Rosetta Stone Ptolemy V's reign had been particularly turbulent, so he was advised that in order to gain the loyalty of his population, he had to first earn the favor of Egyptian priests. The Rosetta Stone is a decree issued in 196 BC stating that Ptolemy V granted tax exemption to the priests as well as stating he had given them gifts of silver. The stone goes on to mention all of the great events that had happened while Ptolemy was king, including fruitful harvests. The Rosetta Stone ends by declaring Ptolemy V as divine. The Rosetta Stone was more or less a campaign to gain the favor of his population, which isn't in itself special. It was written in both Egyptian and Greek, the dominant languages, so that everyone could read it. It contains three writing systems, Greek, hieroglyphics, and demotic script. The Rosetta Stone and its subsequent translation was the key to understanding any Egyptian writings because it provided ready-made translations of ancient Greek, an understood language in modern times, into hieroglyphics and demotic script. This way, we can use the Rosetta Stone translations to understand hieroglyphics and ancient Egyptian writing. Number 4. The Nebra Sky Disc This artifact is relatively small, only 12 inches in diameter, and weighs just under 5 pounds. Although to a modern, untrained eye, it probably doesn't look like anything more than a strange smiley face or a child's depiction of the sky, the Nebra Sky Disc is actually so profound that it was once considered a forgery. The disc has been dated to 3,600 years ago. The United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, better known as UNESCO, has then deemed it the oldest depiction of cosmic phenomena worldwide. The sky disk was found by accident and illegally when two amateur archaeologists were scanning the Harz mountain range with a metal detector. They brought in professionals who determined the disk had not been lost by its owners, but had been ritually buried along with axes, spiral arm rings, and highly decorated swords. The disk is itself a work of art, covered in blue patina and decorated with golden inlays. The symbols on the disk are generally believed to be a sun or full moon, crescent moon, and stars. The cluster, which can be seen in the top right quadrant, is a depiction of the Pleiades constellation. The bottom arc has sometimes been interpreted as a rainbow, the Milky Way, or a boat. The golden arcs on the right and left are purported to accurately signify the 82 degree angle of the setting sun in summer and winter. Number 3. Lead Books Found in Jordan In 2008, 70 books, or codices, were uncovered in a remote cave in Jordan. The pages are crafted of lead and appear to be almost unreadable, bound together on rings. To an outside observer, they may not look like much, but this was a find that could change the way ancient Christianity is studied, and maybe even how we perceive Jesus Christ himself. Through rigorous testing, all 70 books were determined to be genuine and date to the 1st century AD, making them around 2,000 years old. The books reference the Apostles John, Peter, and James, as well as the earliest mentions of Jesus Christ, even including a portrait of him. The writings in the codices suggest that Jesus was not beginning a new religion. Rather, he was continuing a thousand-year-old religion begun during the time of King David, a religion that worshipped a god who was both male and female. One of the books has seven seals, matching the description of a codex mentioned in the book of Revelation. These are the earliest known Hebrew Christian documents, which means they could provide valuable information for those practicing Christianity Islam or Judaism. Number 2. The Library of Ashurbanipal It is said that this was the library which inspired Alexander the Great to build the Great Library of Alexandria, all of which has been lost. This library, however, sometimes called the First Library, or the oldest library in the world, still exists and 30,000 tablets of literature, medical texts, and more have been recovered from its shelves. The library dates to the 7th century BC and is today located in northern Iraq near Mosul. During its time, it would have been located in the ancient city of Nineveh, the capital of Assyria, in Mesopotamia. Ashurbanipal was motivated to create the library because his childhood education allowed him to learn to read and write, as he was not originally expected to take the throne. During his reign, Mesopotamia expanded to include Egypt, Babylon, Persia, and Syria. For this reason, the texts included in the library are of incredible significance to understanding the history of these places. Finally, among the tablets found in the library is one that nearly everyone is familiar with, the Epic of Gilgamesh, which is considered one of the earliest great pieces of literature.
Number 1. Gobekli Tepe The discovery of this temple in modern-day Turkey is an incredible archaeological find that could force scientists to rethink the timeline of human civilization as we know it. The temple has been carbon dated to be around 11,000 years old, having been constructed around 9600 BC. Civilizations as we know them, with beginnings in Egypt and Mesopotamia, did not begin until 3000 BC, about 5000 years ago. But this temple was clearly built with care and a ton of hard work, supposedly with the intention of making making it a place of worship. The temple consists of two 10-foot pillars in its center, decorated with carvings of animals and more identifiable icons. Bones at the temple suggest there were once sacrifices here. The temple then goes outward in rings, with more pillars inside each ring. The building of this temple would have predated writing, pottery making, metalworking, and according to previous estimates, organized worship. The mystery of the site continues as crude Neolithic tools were found, which were made of flint. But how were such tools used to carve pillars that weigh around 40 to 60 tons. The questions continue, but one thing is certain. The discovery of this temple could lead to incredible answers about the evolution of society.